Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Subnautica and today I want to try and build the Cyclops today uh, not the Cyclops, the Prawn! Prawn, that's what I meant, Prawn! So, over here, if you guys can see this close to the Aurora I was exploring a little bit and I did not see that I was this close but if we go down here we have these guys Spore Stack Okay what these guys do is they just go to the blueprints and scroll down all the way. Is aerogel what we require to build the prawn? And our prawn requires two aerogel. So yeah, that is pretty cool. We have two of these, and it's edible. And uh, it's this is the only place I've could find them so far. So if you want to be specific, there's a trench here close to the backside of the Aurora. Uh, just be careful, the Leviathan is in the vicinity. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to make my way through without it noticing me. I don't think it's anywhere close. The reef packs are here. But, yeah, I've been scanning all around to see if I cannot find the spore stacks and... Apparently they're common, like in the safe shallows and crash zone, the jelly shroom caves and the mushroom caves. That's where they are, or apparently they're supposed to be. And yeah, I've been in the safe shallows. Uh, oh, I almost thought I saw one over here. Yeah, I've been around most of these caves and that was the only spot I did find a couple of those. Uh, maybe you guys get lucky and I'm not as lucky. But it's fine, it's fine, we got that. But there is one problem in our way. We need to... Almost went through fart. But there is one thing that is standing in our way, and that is the aluminum oxide crystals. Now, they are in a very specific sp spot, if I can put Welcome it that way. Board, Thank you. And, um... Go to the blueprints, I will show you guys. Yeah, aluminum oxide crystal. Now, those things are not easy to find. Let's switch that off. You know what, let's go switch the batteries uh, over here. Give me that one. You. No. You. Do that, switch that light off, and put it in there. Kill. Cool. Alright, put you away. Now, what I want to do... Oops, there we go, and... Advanced materials, we can see over there. Aerogel. Just want to see, yeah, aerogel. I uh, want to quick craft down that. While that is crafting, want to go down here and grab four of these guys. There we go, there we go. Uh, so, so, and so. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Some of them are in the sea moth. But uh, yeah, let me put key. Lithium goes over here. Yeah, right there. I picked that up. I thought that was an aluminum oxide crystal, but it was not. I was sadly mistaken. Now, if we go over here, uh, where will we put these guys? Right, just put them here. We just require two, so I'm not too worried about that. And maybe I just quickly want to also check at the Simoff. Okay, he escaped. I wanted to. I want to get him and eat him. Nah, I'm not gonna eat him. Uh, over here. Um, polyaniline. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit difficult to achieve. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see if I cannot find some aluminum oxide crystals. And then I'll bring you guys right back. See you guys in a bit. And welcome back, peeps. So, I have returned with all the goods, and I also picked up a couple of other things. Let me show you guys over here. Advanced materials, Hydro hydrochloric acid, which is the deep shrooms, and salt deposit. And one of those hydro hydrochloric acids, plus a gold, gives you polyaniline, which we would require to make the uh, upgrades for the defense system for the Seamoth. So, yeah. And the way you get those um, recipes is if you go into the... It's not the jelly. I can't remember. It's some 
deep, deep caverns or something, a uh, deep area. Just look for a deep biome. And you will see these white mushrooms. They're almost glowy. If you pick one of these guys up, then you would immediately learn the blueprints. All right. So, without a further ado, we are going to craft up the uh, prawn suit. Because, why the hell not? So, let us quickly go over here to the blueprints and we will see it requires two aluminum oxide crystals. Sure. I have a couple of them, so let's get two of those out. Okay. Plasteel ingot, two of them. And a plasteel ingot is a titanium ingot and lithium. I think we still have lithium. Yes, we do. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so let's get all of these guys out. As many as we can. Otherwise, we have to go hunt for more. More salvage. So, titanium ingot. So, I just quickly want to make double sure. So, we need two of those. Okay. You know what? Let me grab... No, not those. Two of those. Okay. There we go. Advanced. No. No. There we go. One plaster ingot. Which takes some time to craft up, but it's not a problem. We can wait. Here we go. And let's see if we can craft up another one. Nice. Okay, and then for the last but not least, plastic ingot. And I'm pretty sure we are good to go on that side. There we go. Now we need to make two aerogels. So the way we make them is aluminum oxide crystal and spore sacks. So I did manage to find two more. Where did I put them? Uh, two more. So we have four in total. So let me see. I think we do need... Uh, let me just double check. Yeah. We need those. Yeah, let's go ahead and craft that up. It just doesn't have a thingy yet. A object or entity of its own. But there we go. We have what we need. There we go. And... Also, two aluminum oxide crystals, so... I'll uh, just go over here. Luckily, we can actually put these guys back. Like so. I actually can eat them as well. But I'm not going to. They're hard to find. I'm going to keep them for another time. Okay. Uh, wrong thing. And now, last but not least, we need two lubricants. Lubricant is basically... Three Cape Prime clusters. Okay. So, I already have... Two over here. Okay. Seed clusters, yeah. So I need to get three, four more. And do we have the space? We might not. Let's go ahead with these guys. Yeah, let's go stack them all back in here. We know where they are. Uh, we could have just jumped into the sea moth. I forgot completely. But we have a sea moth. And a moon pool. Yeah, it's awesome. Alright, thank you very much, lady. Let's climb back into the sea moth and go find ourselves a couple of seeds. Over here. There might be some. I see some. Yeah. Alright, let's go grab a couple. Four. Yeah, four. We need four. Oh, they're fighting. There we go. Got four. Going back. Let's get the hell out of here, man. All right, and then I think we're good to go to go ahead and craft up the the prawn. What do you guys think? I am super excited for that. Just quickly want to see... Okay, we don't really have space. I want to quickly eat and drink some. Because, you know, if you don't, you die. Survival, you know. That thing. Oh, confusing myself. There we go. Let's go ahead. Lubricant. There's one. And there are two now. Yeah. So if we go ahead and check out blueprints. All good to go. So let's quickly get some foodsies. I think I can chow about four. Without severe blood loss. Five. Six. Whoops. Six. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, let's go ahead and grab the rest of these guys. There we go. I 
think we have too many aluminum oxide crystals. We just require two. So let's go ahead. There we go. And I think we're good. We're all set, guys. We're all set. And oh yeah, I forgot I parked it over there, but we just need to go over here. And then we shall have our prawn. Alright, coming up to the finale. Yeah. Okay, that was... I don't know where it is. Okay. What's up, guys? I've got a little mission for you. I need that. Oh, baby. Look at it floating up there. And down she goes. Oh man, the prawn guys, the prawn, prawn suit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh yeah. Okay, so we can pick up normally, and we can hit. <laughs> oh yeah, man, this is awesome. And now <laughs> it's running away. Come back here, let me love you. Okay, now it's going back. Oh, come on. I remember there was some buggy issues with the uh, prawn suit. Like, you're trying to get over a hill and then it's just super slow. Alright, so what I'm going to do is put a cut in here, get this guy back. And then we'll do a quick upgrade for the Seamoth. And I'll see you guys in a bit. And welcome back, peeps. So, we want to make the Seamoth perimeter defense system. Okay, so it requires polyaniline. Alright. And I am pretty sure we do have still two units left, or two slots open to do the upgrade. Just going to check. Okay, that guy's still good to go. Not worried at all. Let's see with our blood loss. Yeah. Cool. Now, to in order to create that, yeah, let's go to advanced. We need three shrooms and a salt deposit. Okay. So over here, one, two, three, and a salt deposit. Uh, wrong one. There we go. And then it requires gold. Cool. So let's go ahead. Resources. Advanced. Pol poly aniline. Oh yeah. Nice. So I don't know how this fits in for like a more massive system, defense system for the Seamoth. Because that defensive system looks like it requires like a couple of circuit boards and uh, wires and things. But hey, I'm not complaining. Okay. Finally. This thing is awesome. You know, unless it already had the defensive system in, it just required like fuel? I don't know. Let's go ahead, pop that guy in there, and I don't know what, what would be the last upgrade. I want to know, what's the last upgrade? Uh, sonar, torpedoes are good. You know, then we can make these guys. Or we can pressure, power efficiency. Yeah, I think maybe a pressure compensator, another one. I think you can add another one. Or you can just have one of each. But anyways, we're ready to go. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what this guy is made of. Okay. So now, if we go... Let's look for some danger. Where, oh where? Usually, uh... uh where was that one? That's got a sting. Oh man, how I missed that. Ha. Huh. Let's try this one. Oh, that is brilliant. That's so cool. And I think if you do it long enough or like consecutively, you would actually kill them. These guys. So yeah. 
that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on Subnautica. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, drop a like. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.